The President of the Republic, the Chief of Staff, senior government officials. Let me also acknowledge the presence of the Honorable C.K. Tedam, Chairman of the Council of Elders, and Alaji Sule Yeremia, a member of the Council of State. Honorable Ministers, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, and friends of the media, good afternoon. We're here to witness the swearing in of the newly appointed Ministers of State by the President. I'll first of all introduce the ministers being appointed. Honorable Kojo Opan Nkrumah, Minister for Information. <coughs> Honorable Cynthia Morrison, Minister for Gender, Children, and Social Protection. Honorable Evans Opoku Bobi, Bronga Hafurigna Minister. Ambassador Paulina Tangoba Abege, Minister for Upper East Region. Mr. Samuel Note IT, Deputy Minister for Eastern Region. The Honorable Martin Otijaku, Deputy Minister for the Brongahafu Region. Thank you very much. I will now invite the President to administer the three oaths the oath of allegiance, the oath of minister, and oath of sex. Mr. President. So my understanding is that you have three oaths in your in your folders, is that right? The oath of allegiance will be followed by the oath of the Minister of State, and then the final oath you take is the oath of secrecy. You have one. You will fill in your name, you point you speak out your name in the areas and uh, as far as the oath of minister the two at the end, Deputy Minister, is what you put in. All right. So you follow me. I, I do in the name of the Almighty God swear that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Republic of Ghana as by law established. That I'll uphold the sovereignty and integrity of Ghana. That I will preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the Republic of Ghana. So help me God. The next is the oath of Minister of State. I. Having been appointed a Minister of the Republic of Ghana, do in the name of the Almighty God swear that I will at all times well and truly serve the Republic of Ghana in the office of a minister, and that I will uphold, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the Republic of Ghana as by law established. That I will, uh, that I will, to the best of my judgment, at all times when required, freely give my counsel and advice for the good management of the public affairs of the Republic of Ghana. And that I will not directly or indirectly reveal any matters that shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and committed to my secrecy as minister. So help me God. The final one is the oath of secrecy. I Holding the office of the 
do in the name of the Almighty God swear. That I will not directly or indirectly communicate or reveal to any person any matter which shall be brought under my consideration or shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my official duties except as may be required for the discharge of my official duties or as may be specially permitted by law. So help me God. Thank you very much. Please be seated. I'll now invite our ministers to receive their instruments of appointment from the president. We'll start with the same order, minister. Thank you very much, Mr. President, and once more, congratulations to our ministers. We will now sign the oath book. I would invite the ministers in the same order. Honorable, please.
Thank you. The president will now sign his portion of the oath book. Thank you very much. <coughs> I now have the single honor to invite the president for his remarks. Mr. Member of the Council of State, Chief of Staff, and officials of the presidency, the Minister of State of the presidency, members of parliament, national security advisor, and our newest ministers of state. Let me be the very first to congratulate each one of you on your appointments as ministers and deputy ministers. You are all well-known figures of the ruling party who have proved your mettle and who are deserving of these appointments. It's been a a longer period than usual from the announcement until today. But that it has to do with the timing of the announcement and the workings of Parliament and the approval process. But they say all's well that ends well. And today, you are now ready to take up your duties as members of my government. You're joining us halfway through our mandate. At the, end of this, at the end of December, we will have exactly two years in office. So you're coming in halfway, even though some of you were already members of the, of, of the administration, but in lower capacities. You're coming in halfway, and that imposes certain responsibilities on you. The first is to fit in. Join those who are already there and cooperate with them so that we can deliver. And then amongst yourselves, also, cooperation. The two years that I've been here, I've discovered that that is the most important aspect for successful governance, that there should be cooperation. You're not in competition with each other. You're not in competition with anybody. You're all to work together so that the things that we told the Ghanaian people that got them to give us their confidence and trust that we can deliver them. We've delivered some. There's still others to go. But if we all continue to work hard and keep our eyes on the ball, I'm very confident that when, we have the, when the four years are over, we'll be able to give a good account of ourselves to the people of Ghana. You're now very exposed in the public domain. All kinds of things are going to be said and attributed to you. Keep focus. Don't get yourself distracted. There are a lot of people out there who would like you to get distracted. Don't get distracted. Keep your eye on the ball. And I know each one of you, and I know your quality. And that's why I've asked you to come and join me so that we can give this government, this country, a really strong and effective government. There are many things for us to do in Ghana. We inherited a big mess, but systematically we're trying to clean it up. 
and by and large, we are succeeding. Already the economic indicators that we inherited have all been turned around, and they're now pointing in the right direction. This weekend, you're going to join us in the preparations for the budget. We're going to go on a retreat, and we're going to work to make sure that the Ghanaian people get a budget that is going to reflect the hopes that they have of us and of the future of our country. I've said it before, and I'll continue to say it. There is no reason for us to be a poor country. The Almighty God has given us everything. And if we put it together properly, we should be a wealthy and developed nation. That's the vision that is animating me. And I want you to join me in that vision so we can give this country the government that it deserves. I want to wish you the very best of luck and that even though you're latecomers to the administration, you turn out perhaps to be the big stars of the government. Why not? It's possible. Once again, congratulations and good luck. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, the ministers will respond to your remarks, and I will invite the Honorable Kodjo Opon Nkrumah to do that on behalf of his colleagues. Honorable. Mr. President, Chief of Staff, Member of the Council of State, Member of the Council of Elders, Senior Government Officials, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen, good afternoon. Mr. President, I speak on behalf of my colleagues this afternoon. And first, we want to express our appreciation to you for the honor and the challenge. About 22 months ago, you formed and you've been leading a government that has been tackling the big mess that you talk about. And while doing that, also fulfilling the very bold promises that you led us to make to the people of Ghana. You assigned many of us lower level roles at the time, and we recall promising you on that day that we would work with diligence and decorum to assist in delivering on your mandate. Today you assign us some other roles, and as you mentioned, the vision that animates you is also what inspires us. We will continue to work with that same diligence and decorum. And Mr. President, just like you don't rest, we will also not rest. We look forward to assisting you and the entire government um, deliver on our mandate so that when the time comes for us to give an account to the people of Ghana, we can boldly and gladly tell the people that we promised and we have delivered. God bless you. We thank you. Thank you, Honorable Minister. We'll now have the photo session. We'll do it in the same order, the President, the minister and the chief of staff first, please. Thank you. The president, the minister, and family. Minister, please stay. The last one is a good picture. I'm going to give you the signal I'll talk. And our photographers give me the signal I'll make. 
thank you, the President and the Minister. The Chief of Staff, please. Family to join, family please. Thank you, the President and the Minister. Chief of Staff. Family, please. President and the Minister. The Chief of Staff. The family. Thank you, President and the Minister. The Chief of Staff, please. The family, please. Thank you, the President and the Minister. The Chief of Staff. The family.
Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And once more, honorable ministers, on behalf of the president, warmest congratulations. Uh, before you leave here, the president will invite you to a cocktail and exchange p pleasantries with you. We wish you well in all your undertakings. Thank you. Here, here, Sammy, let them come.